Hi, I'm Jacob Beals, and this is my show. So when the pandemic started, I kind of got back in to one of my favorite video game systems from the past, like out of nowhere. It was really weird. It, I, I don't know why it happened. I think I just got kind of bored, and I started collecting stuff for the system again, and that's the PSP, the PlayStation Portable. And I absolutely love my PSP. It's such an underrated video game system. I feel like it never really lived up to its full potential too. I think it kind of always got sidelined and never really got to do what it really could have done. But what did come out on it was really cool. There were a lot of great games. And what we're going to talk about today, PSP UMD Movies released movies you could watch like physical copy movies on PSP and you're probably thinking today all you kids you're probably sitting there, here there watching this video thinking Jacob that's not a big deal I can watch movies anywhere why would I need to watch them on a portable PlayStation device when I can just bring my tablet or phone and watch them on Netflix well kids I have to say the late 2000s were a very different time and it wasn't that easy to watch things on the go as it is now. Now we have streaming and all this other stuff. But back in the day, this was like amazing. It was so fun to get PSP movies and be able to take them anywhere. In the late 2000s, what a time. You know, if somebody came up to me right now and said, Jacob, do you want to go back to the late 2000s and maybe hang out there for a while until 2020 gets over? I might take them off, up on that offer. You know, and that's saying a lot because I was in middle school at the time. So that just shows you how desperate I am. <laughs> But I think the first two PSP movies I actually got back then were Open Season. Remember that movie with Martin Lawrence and Ashton Kutcher? It was like an animated movie about a bear and a deer. It was fun. I had a good time with that one. And The Incredibles. I actually had The Incredibles on PSP. And I was a Pixar fan as growing up, and I still am to this day. So that one meant a lot to me. But to get to this video, today I was at... JC Dean Hobby. It's this great store we got here in Des Moines. There's a few of them, actually. I think there's like three. And I just stumbled upon PSP movies they had there for sale. You know, they have video games and, and movies and all nerd stuff, good stuff. I, I always get excited when I go in there. But they had PSP movies, you know, something I've been into lately. I've been collecting them again. And I found seven movies that I don't have on PSP, and I was so excited to see. And the best part is six of them, I, I almost messed up counting my fingers there, uh, are still in their wrapping, which is so cool. So they're like new, and I thought I'd do a quick little haul video for you guys and show you all what I got, what movies I picked up. I'm so excited to be collecting these PSP movies. You guys, if you know me, you know I love collecting Blu-rays and DVDs. I think I'm getting on the PSP train now. I know I'm a few years too late, but I I'm going. We're going on this train. So my first one, I actually have an Adam Sandler movie, and it's Mr. Deeds. You know, this movie kind of gets forgotten about these days. It's a remake of an old classic comedy, but with Adam Sandler, of course, and I believe also Winona Ryder is in this movie, too. I've always really liked this one. There's even a reference to Iowa in it, which is really funny, and the joke they make about Iowa is actually pretty funny and pretty true. They they, they make a joke about Iowa town names and all how they all kind of have a similar name, and it's, it's pretty good, but... I always love a movie when it references Iowa. It's like, oh, yes, we got noticed. It's so cool. But this movie, really good, really good remake. I've actually never seen the original, but I've always dug this one. And this was at the time when Adam Sandler was really a big deal. Everybody loved him. Like every, when I was a kid growing up, Adam Sandler was like the number one star in elementary school. And this was one of those movies that came out during that time. So naturally, all us kids, we thought it was like an instant classic, even though people may have not liked it at the time. But I've always enjoyed this one. And I think you should definitely check it out if you've never seen it before. It's a heartwarming, fun little comedy. Speaking of comedies, I actually got Talladega Nights a few weeks ago from eBay on PSP UMD Movie, and I was so excited to get that. So today at JCD and Hobby, you can imagine my excitement when I saw another great John C. Riley and Will Ferrell team-up movie on sale for PSP. And that, of course, is Holmes and Watson, the classic from a few years ago. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I, I didn't get Holmes and Watson. I don't even think they sell it on PSP. No, it's the much-loved Step Brothers, so much better than Holmes and Watson. Now, 
a lot of people, I think, actually like this movie more than Talladega Nights. But for me, I think I'm more of a Talladega Nights fan, probably because I'm a big NASCAR fan, and that's like the ultimate NASCAR comedy. But this one is still really good. I've always really enjoyed it. These guys together, they're gold. They're really good. And I, I actually, even after Holmes and Watson, I still want to see them do more stuff together. E even though, I will say, Holmes and Watson, I thought, had some funny moments in it. But overall, it wasn't the best movie. But this movie, comedy classic. I know so many people who quote it all the time. And I I'm so excited to watch this movie on my PSP and see these guys have all this room for extra activities. Next, we have Harrison Ford with a classic movie, and that is Air Force One. I absolutely love this film. It's kind of like Die Hard on a Plane with Harrison Ford. He's got a famous line where he grunts, get off my plane, at the end of it. And it's really good. I dig movies like this. They could make these Die Hard type movies forever, like these copycat films. I don't think I'd ever get tired of them. That's how, how much fun I have with them. And the ones from the 90s are the absolute best. You know, this is a plain classic from the 90s. Also got to put comedy. On air up there too and the sticker on this really cracks me up it says we got dvd quality on this psp movie can you believe that that's so awesome but as some of you guys know i really love harrison ford he's one of my favorite actors and i didn't have any harrison ford movies on psp so i'm really glad i was able to pick this one up next we have the sequel to the mask of zorro the legend of zorro now i would was really hoping when i saw this at first, it was The Mask of Zorro, but sadly, it was The Legend of Zorro. And it's it's still a pretty solid movie. I don't think this one is nearly as good as The Mask of Zorro, though. But I still liked it enough to pick it up and have it in my PSP collection. Still looking for The Mask of Zorro, which I think is an all-time action classic. But like I said, this one is a nice little follow-up. It's still got some really fun moments. And Antonio Banderas is so good as Zorro. I could watch him play Zorro all day. I actually really hope that he comes back and plays Zorro again. I would love to see that. I don't know if that's even in the cards anymore because I don't know how popular a new Zorro movie would be. Maybe it's just me that wants to see it, um, but I would adore that and hopefully it happens, but we'll just have to wait and see. I actually picked up three PSP movies I have never seen, so now we're going to get into those and this one I think a lot of people are going to kill me because I still have not watched it I've had chances to watch it. It's been on Netflix for so long, but I just never have. And it's Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I know this is like a comedy classic. I still haven't seen it. See, growing up, like, I watched a lot of movies with my dad. And he was never, like, into this movie, so we never watched it. You know, so I never got introduced to it, like, uh, in high school or anything. Uh, but I, I, maybe now it'll be to my time to watch it. Instead of watching it on Netflix, maybe I'll watch it on PSP. But I know this is, like, an all-time comedy classic. So I was like, I better pick that one up just to have it, even if I don't end up liking it, but I'm sure I will. And it's still in its wrapping paper too, which is really nice, but I'm excited to watch this one for the first time. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I'm a sucker for comedies. And next we have a movie that was nominated for several Academy Awards. I think it was even nominated for Best Picture, and that's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I've never seen this one either. I've always heard it's really good. Another movie where I've had several chances to watch it, like it's been on TV and Netflix and stuff, but I just... I've kind of ignored it and haven't watched it, but it, I, I'm really interested to see it. I really have no idea what it's about, but I know it has all these award nominations and people recommend it to me all the time. And I think there's even like a sequel on Netflix. I'm pretty sure there's a Crouching Dragon, Hidden, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon 2. Now I almost messed up the name there, uh, but I'll have to check out both of them, especially if I like this one a lot. So I'm interested to see this and I'm glad I got it on PSP. Once again, I don't know if I like it, but I got it because I know it's a classic and it'll be really fun to have if, if, even if I don't like it. The final movie I've seen is a film I've seen parts of, but I've actually never seen the whole way through, but I'm really interested to see it. I don't know why I've never seen the whole thing, and that's Bill Murray and Stripes. I love Bill Murray. He's such a great actor, and every time I see him in a movie or anything, I get excited. I was looking on the back. This movie also has Harold Ramis and John Candy in it. On top of that, Ivan Reitman directed it, so I, I have a feeling it's going to be a really good film. I'm excited to watch it. I don't know what took me so long to see the whole thing, but you know, you can't go wrong with this guy. Whether he's in a comedy or a drama, he's always good and always so charming. And there's a really good documentary that was on Netflix a while back that just talked about people and like regular people and their encounters with Bill Murray. And it was just a really nice little documentary that just made me 
appreciate the kind of person he is and the things he does for just random people and, and does things to make their day. It's really cool. I recommend that documentary. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's so good. And this movie, I'm sure, is going to be good as well. Now, speaking of Bill Murray, while I was at JCD and Hobby, actually, I picked up another uh, Bill Murray item. Like, right after I picked up Stripes, I went over to the pop figure section. I always tell myself I'm not going to get another pop, Funko Pop. I, I'm done. I, I'm, I can't do any more. But then I always see one I got to get. Most of the time, I'll see a NASCAR one. Got to pick that one up. But today, I saw a Bill Murray pop figure. And it's not from Stripes. I didn't buy that. I don't even really know much about that movie. I bought the one from What About Bob. And he's even got the book with, like, Richard Dreyfuss on it. And he's got his fish gill there. Oh, it's so good. I love this. I jumped at it when I got it. What About Bob is so funny. It's such a classic movie. And I, I'm excited to add this one into my collection. It's so cool. So that's just another other random thing I got on top of my PlayStation Portable movies. Hey, that'll do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I love talking movies. And I know I don't do these haul videos very often. But when it presents the chance to talk about movies in them, I love doing it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I, I love showing off those little things I got. PSP movies are so cool, aren't they? I don't know. I think they're really fun and really neat. And hopefully I'll keep collecting them. I don't know if I will. I, I always say, I better not get any more. But then I always do. We'll see. But what is your favorite PSP game? Do you have any memories from the PlayStation Portable? I love to hear your thoughts in the comments on the console or any games or movies you had on it. Please let me know. And like I said, thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing well out there, having a good time during this crazy, crazy year and staying safe out there. I'll be seeing you all later. Bye, everybody.